Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Watch Me Cook. Today I'm going to make a simple version of Korean street toast. If you guys want to know how to make this, please subscribe and watch me cook. To get started, all we need is a few simple ingredients. I am showing you guys the easy version of this Korean street toast. I have seen several different variations of this, but I'm going to give you the easy ones and I'll talk about the other ones if you guys are interested in trying to do those on your own. But what I found, the key in making this is butter. Don't use oil, just butter. We want to butter everything up because butter makes the magic happen. Now how you toast your bread is up to you. However you like, if you want to lightly toast it, if you want a little bit more toasty, I guess. <laughs> but that's up to you. Don't worry about that little piece right there. It's the very end piece. And so it looks like it's burnt, but it's not. It's just the end of the bread. I did end up toasting mine on a medium to medium low heat. You're going to want to check your stove for this. Uh, I mean, because you know, all stoves are different but I think mine took about a minute and a half on each side to completely toast the way I like it oh and have you guys had this happen to you I'm sure you have it has to have happened just to everybody else too but one pan always cooks or one side of the pan actually always cooks more than the other side and it's always been like that I mean I can use an expensive pan or a cheap pan it doesn't matter it's gonna always be more on cook more on one side more than the other Okay, getting off my little pan thing here. <laughs> um, butter. Again, butter. Add more butter. If you see that you need more butter, just continue adding more butter on there underneath it and let it continue cooking until you get it to the level that you like it. Once you have your toast where you like it, go ahead and set it aside. Now moving on to our main ingredient, go ahead and add some more butter as you need. Honestly, I know it seems like a lot of butter, but I probably only use like a tablespoon for the entire thing. Maybe that's a lot. I don't know. Maybe not even a whole tablespoon. I don't know. It's just, I just use it just to grease up my pan every time. But this is one egg that I'm using here. I'm going to divide it up. They don't actually touch. You'll see that. But that's all we need. One egg to make two sandwiches. It is a thin egg sandwich at this point. But we're going to add our handful of coleslaw on top now. And because we want our coleslaw or our cabbage actually to become more translucent and a little bit more on the softer side, we want to be able to cook this on low to medium heat. You're going to have to watch this part because you don't want to burn your eggs. But you have your butter there so you should be okay. But um, the bottom part obviously is already cooked. So I'm going to go ahead and close that up a little bit. I did not do a good job on the second one, as you can see. I don't know why I didn't pay attention more, but you'll see. You can flip this easily now because I've done a better job on that side, but it's okay. It all works out. It's all going to the same place, right? Now you can easily use your own cabbage and slice it up, or you can use a bag of coleslaw. Just whatever makes life easier for you. Ah, and I forgot to mention to you guys, if you guys want to make it more fancy or just additional or whatever, you can add another egg into your sandwich, just over easy, over medium, however it is that you like your egg. One whole egg is all you need to add in addition to it, as well as one piece of ham, or however many pieces of ham that you'd like, but you can add that as well, and that will make your sandwich a little bit more substantial, but these are for my kids and say that they didn't really need it. Now I did edit this video to make it a lot shorter than having to have you guys sit around and watch the eggs just in the pan like this. But this took probably a total of eight minutes. So you're gonna have to give it time because you want your cabbage again to be translucent and soft so it's not super crunchy and raw when you bite into it. Once you are done, go ahead and set it aside on top of your buttery toast that we just made. So here is where it's a little bit different from what everybody else makes you add sugar on top. Koreans really like their sweet and savory types of food, so we're gonna add sugar, and then we add some ketchup on top. You can add mayonnaise, you can add mustard, you can go ahead and add strawberry jam in place of the sugar as well. I've seen that done. But I mean, it's just a sweet and savory type of grab and go delicious breakfast sandwich for anyone. And as you guys saw, it's really easy to make. It's pretty foolproof. You can't really mess this up too much as long as you cook it on the right setting. And that's it. This is it. This is all there is to it. And this is just a favorite for my kids. I hope you guys like this recipe. Please subscribe, hit that like button, share it. And until the next meal, thank you for watching. Watch me cook.